Are you ready to get started with the new Motion Pilot Wave section? I have created another cheat sheet for you. It is in the description in PDF file format and you can download it so that you can tell what each section does. If you can see here, we have three different sections we'll be working with. You have your move amplitude, you have your rotation amplitude, and you have your scale amplitude. Now the wave section basically provides a wave style of actions that you can apply to your animations. The x-axis you can see goes from side to side. When you use the y-axis it goes up and down. And when you use the z-axis it goes from the back of your screen to the front of your screen. The tween is what determines the way the movement is going to behave. The linear is the same size. The noise creates a noisy effect. The random creates random style waving. And the step section creates a step style. The rotate amplitude lets you rotate your objects along with moving them. You can either move them, rotate them, or scale them one at a time, or you can all use all three. So this has a multitude of ways that you can learn to use it in your animations to create a faster style of animation. The loop is the speed that it rotates, the number of frames that it takes to complete one wave animation. And the scale, this allows you to scale your items in and out. The last box is your mouse movement, which you can either choose to use mouse movement or not. When you use your mouse movement, animation follows your mouse rather than just doing it by itself as you move your mouse. Are you ready to get started? Let's head over to Cartoon Animator 5. The graphics that I'm using are from FreePix. Now I have become a premium member, so I'm not sure if all of these are free. At the end of the lesson, I have provided the credits to the authors who created these graphics. First, let's play with our little turkey I got here. Let's see what we can do with him. First, let's open up our content manager and let's go to animation, Puffet profile, wave section. Let's choose the move Y section. Now I want to say this up front. It took me about two hours to figure out how to make these move the way I'd like to see them for this little demonstration. So the biggest thing is you're just going to have to play with it to get your movements the way that you like them. Once we figure out how each section works, then it's a lot easier to play with it and tweak it to get it to make moves that you want it to do. So now we're going to take the move and we're going to apply it. Now when we apply it, you can see here that it's got the move amplitude is 50 minus 50 by 50. It's locked, so it's equal on both sides. There's no Z or no X. The space is local. The twain is linear. And the duration is 24. Now I would like to move uh, the duration to 30 because I like it a little slower. And we did not use a mouse movement on this. So we're going to preview spacebar. And look at this. He just jumps around all happy. So I'm going to go ahead and record that. We got him just uh, jumping around. So that's our little turkey. And when we, re <laughs> when we look at it, you can tell there's a lot of activity going on here. Now for our next item, I went to the turkey in the balloon. So we clicked him. And what I did was I selected the float and I applied it. And if you see here, it says 60 under the Y, but I'd like to change that to 25. I left the tween at linear and the loop, I changed it to 60 instead of the 100. And I did not use the mouse movement. We need to move him out of the way. Why don't we just record that? and all that movement. And so our next one is going to be the wagon. And what I did with the wagon is I selected the swing and we're going to apply it. 
And if you notice on the swing, it says that it's uh, 45 linear 70. Well, I'd like to change the rotate to minus 6 linear and change the 70 to 20 and no mouse movement. So we're going to just record, hit our space key and kind of looks like he's just going over some bumpy ground. Now I need if I'm doing this for real, I would want to move the pumpkins back behind him. Okay, our next movement is going to be the pine cone. And for it, I just set the rotate to, I just turned off the move. I set the rotate to 360 and 360 linear and the pine cone duration 30. I don't think 30, uh, 32 would have made a big difference. Turned off the scale and no mouse movement. I tried to figure out, I would like to just roll the pine cone in one direction. I tried everything and could not figure out how to just make it roll in one direction. So we're going to record and I've just got him rolling down the hill and rolling across and off the screen. And then our very last one is going to be the leaf. Now, I worked on these settings for about an hour because I wanted to try to set every single thing in the wave section. I wanted to use the move, the rotate, and the scale. And so what I ended up with, under the move, I set the X to minus 34 and plus 34. The tween was linear. The loop duration was 40. Now, under the rotate, I set it minus 117 to plus 117. Again, linear, and the loop duration was 24. Under the scale, I set it to width 100 to 115, and I locked the ratio. The tween was linear, and the loop duration was 40. I did not use a mouse movement. So let's find out what happens. We're going to just record it, hit our space key, and look at this. It just kind of looks like it's floating in and out, and you can just float it all the way down to the bottom of the screen. I hope you learned something today, and I hope you have fun playing with this new motion pilot. Have a great day, Diana.